three-wheel coffee bar, otherwise known as the coffee bike, is the brainchild of Tobias Zimmer and Jan Zander. They're working hard to give the term coffee to go a whole new meaning by making specialist brews available everywhere, like this pedestrian zone in Osnabrück. We saw the coffee bike, or a similar concept to it, for the first time when we were vacationing in Denmark in 2009, and we thought it was great. We wondered why we didn't have anything like it in Germany, and started thinking it might be a good idea. And it was. The bike is equipped with a professional coffee machine in which the young entrepreneurs only use beans roasted by a Hamburg-based manufacturer. Delicious. We decided to stop, then we thought, that looks good, let's try a coffee here. It was a good idea because it tastes excellent. As a coffee junkie, I can say this is really good. The basis of the coffee bar is a remodeled touring bike designed to carry an average load of 220 kilos. The attractive mahogany fixtures are an added bonus on a bike that needs no external water or electricity input. If you look in here, you see the tops of the large water tanks, the fresh water and wastewater tanks. Then there's a lot of hidden technical stuff that enables us to make specialty coffees anywhere in the world without external electricity or water supplies. And here are some of the secrets we spent months developing. And they're going to stay in here too. This is the garage at Tobias' parents' home in Osnabrück, where the school friends yeah, developed their first prototype. Okay. They're now building their fourth model, but they wouldn't have managed without help from their fathers, friends and a few craftsmen. As economics graduates, they might be expected to wear pinstripe suits, like those who graduated with them. Instead, they wear what they want. We all used to go for a drink and they'd laugh when someone would say they were off to London on business and I'd say I'm going to the garage in my boiler suit. It was a bit comical. And that's what went on until we finished the bikes. Jan Zander and Tobias Zimmer rented office space in a business park. The two 26-year-olds want to expand their company to make a worldwide franchise brand. They already have interested parties from the US, China and all over Europe. The biggest difficulty in Germany is obtaining vending permits from the different states. The bureaucracy was typically German. One of the biggest lessons we learned in the past months is how many hurdles we'll have to clear to become really successful, create jobs and make it big. Right now, the mobile coffee bars can be seen in seven cities across Germany and also in Romania. The bikes are stored while they have their batteries recharged. They have to keep going for 10 hours a day without any extra power input and are now serviced by 20 additional staff. Inventors Jan Zander and Tobias Zimmer are fully focused on the business side while their employees provide the alluring brew.